I've had a rough 36 hours. I spent it with these two guys uh, reading the transcripts of Hunter Biden's deposition and his uncle, Jim Biden, the brother of Joe, uh, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pages, listening to these guys pretend they have some sort of special skill that would be of interest to foreign governments, that they would pay them millions and millions of dollars and it has nothing to do with their big guy, Joe Biden. Are you kidding me? It is a total disgrace, the entire situation. But the way these two characters conducted themselves in the depositions, I got to go through these things, but it is frustrating as anything because this is how most of it goes. They are not honest people. So at one point, Congressman Fallon asks uh, Hunter here, uh, one of the Burisma executives, Vadim Perzarsky, had dinner with your father as well, right? What does Hunter say? He did not have dinner with my father. I said this. Mr. Fallon, he did not have dinner with your father, Hunter, many times before. I've said this many times before. Okay. Now, stay with me here. My dad did not come for dinner. He came and sat down at the presentations. He sat down next to Father Alex, who he's known for almost 42 years, and was a close family friend. And I believe he probably had a Coca-Cola and a bowl of spaghetti. You see what he's doing here, right? Every little thing they fight. Next, good for Congressman Fallon. So he ate there. Most people would define that as having dinner. <laughs> Lowell, the attorney, well, he said he's not sure that he ate. Hunter, I am not sure that he ate. I am not sure he ate. Congressman Fallon, okay, well, he said spaghetti. <laughs> Lowell, he said he might have had a bowl of spaghetti. And that's how it goes on. This is the game they play, right? You contest everything, every minute detail. You throw up smoke. But the truth is still getting through. And you have to remember this, as I will go into this. It's important, but it's only a part of the puzzle. They're putting everything else together. But a quick reminder about how depraved truly depraved the Bidens are. For instance, you will remember that, well, Hunter and Bo, when he was alive, Bo was married to Haley. Uh, Hunter was with Kathleen. Uh, Hunter ditched Kathleen. Bo dies. And yeah, Hunter hooks up with his sister-in-law. It's crazy. And it would really be a burden for most families. It could even destroy families. What did Joe and Jill say about this, about this horrible family scandal? We are lucky that Hunter and Haley found each other as they were putting their lives together again after such sadness. They have mine and Jill's full and complete support, and we are happy for them. These people are depraved. Nobody in the world would be happy, right? I don't think they were. I think they were just lying, all right? But it's a depraved situation anyway isn't it? Happy for them. The laptop, remember this, not only did they lie like crazy, they got the entire American government to lie for them as well, right? You remember the 50 former executives, right? And the letter they put out, all that stuff. These people are so connected, it's true. The entire national defense establishment lied for them and they lied to us. Now I wanna skip ahead to our hero, Donald Trump, who saw through all of this, who saw it before any House committee, Senate committee, the FBI, he used common sense. He knows that these people are lowlifes. He knows that they're making money from all over the world. So in the fall of 2020, he says what needs to be said. I don't make money from China. You do. I don't make money from Ukraine. Did you see what he did? How, how he was like, what? He got caught. He got busted. And then he, well, lies to everybody. Everybody. And the press, you know what they counted this as? They counted this as Donald Trump making things with no evidence, baseless. And now that he's been proven right, where are they? My son has not made money in terms of this thing about, uh, what are you talking about? China. I have not had, a, the only guy made money from China is this guy. He's the only one. Nobody else has made money from China. Everybody, including Joe, made money from China. All of these people, and they have not denied it. Every single one of the people you're seeing right here made money from China. Yes, the lawyers admitted it. Good faith seed money, they called. And now we know, thanks to the deposition from James Biden, that Joe Biden 
made money from China. Joe himself made money from China, and we even have the check to prove it. $40,000, that $40,000 check, yeah, all of it, all of it was money from China. It's a big deal. This should be the story of the century right now, but somehow, somehow, well, wait a second. It's not quite smoking gun evidence. It's pretty damn bad. All right, first, isn't it interesting that of all the countries in the world, Hunter does all this business with Ukraine and China and there's Russia, right? I mean, what about Canada? It's right next door. Delaware is right next door to Maryland. What about something like that? What about, no, they go far away and they go where places that Joe has a strange level of influence. Suspicious right there. But I said I'd get into this deposition. A couple of key things. Number one, it's very frustrating because these guys are totally dishonest. It's in their blood. I think it was passed down by Joe. I know some of the things that these guys did better than they did. You know, when you lie, what do they say? When you lie, you have to remember everything. When you tell the truth, you never have to remember anything, right? You just told the truth so you can keep track. So Hunter actually is taken aback at one point in the questioning. They said, did you reach out to Secretary Blinken? Future, Se okay, is it possible you called Secretary Blinken? No future Secretary Blinken, because this is all the way back in 2014, 2015. Hunter, absolutely not. I called possible, uh, absolutely not possible. I called Secretary Blinken at that time. Now, is it that he wasn't on the phone or wasn't in contact? Because I have the email where he emailed Deputy Secretary of State Tony Blinken. You have a few minutes next week to grab a cup of coffee. I know you are impossibly busy, but I would like to get your advice, advice on a couple of things. Ukraine, China. <laughs> and what did Tony do? The number two official at the Department of State at that point. Absolutely. He would drop everything to meet, to meet Hunter. That does tell you something, doesn't it? Um, do you remember when Jonathan Lee, ever hear of this character? After Hunter arrived in Beijing with his father in Air Force Two, made a point to introduce him to Jonathan Lee, his, uh, his business point man in China. Uh, during the questioning, they said, did you ever get money from Jonathan Lee? Uh, what, what you don't say here is that you did get money from Jonathan Lee, didn't you? Hunter, I believe ultimately, no, I did not get money from Jonathan Lee. I'd like to show you now some bank records. The lawyer, Lowell, are you talking about a loan? Hunter, oh, the loan? <laughs> Question, he got money. Whether you want to call it a loan or you want to call it a payment, did you get money from Jonathan Lee is very clear. Hunter, I was loaned my money against my equity stake in the company of which Jonathan Lee was the majority. You see how they parse this stuff? You see the games they play? I'm getting pretty sick of it. How about this? Hunter, why were you hired by Burisma? What skill did you bring to the table? Hunter, is it fair to say, though, that Burisma wanted you for their board because your dad was the vice president? Hunter, no, I don't think that's fair. Again, I really don't. I really don't think that's fair to say that, for that to be the entire sentence. I can say to you this. I know why President uh, the president of Poland wanted me to be on that board. He is the one who convinced me, ultimately, uh, to be on that board. Something about fighting Russian aggression. I remember this kid when he was interviewed by Amy Rohrbach uh, on ABC. Amy, the one who hooked up with T.J. Holmes, right? Uh, I remember this. I guess Hunter doesn't. In the list that you gave me of the reasons why you're on that board, you did not list the fact that you were the son of the vice of course, president. Yeah, no. I, what I, role do you think that played? I think that it is impossible for me to be on any of the boards that I just mentioned without saying that I'm the son of the vice president of the United States. If your last name wasn't Biden, do you think you would have been asked to be on the board of Burisma? I don't know. I don't know. Probably not. Why can't he just say it like that, huh? No, he's got to play all these games. My resume, I went to Yale Law School. So did 50 of the lawyers in the building across the street. It doesn't matter. It was all about being a Biden. It was all that. Now, you could do that perhaps, perhaps, but can money go back to the big guy? That's a real problem, and we'll get there. Who remembers all the mysterious characters they were inviting over to Cafe Milano, uh, guys from Kazakhstan and beyond? It's interesting, um, Hunter 
would say in emails to his buddies that this was always about the uh, World Food Program. I guess he was on the board of the World Food Program. Now, from the deposition, we got this. Well, I wasn't conducting business when I had those meetings, necessarily. I was, number one, I had a dinner for the U.S., I mean the U.N. World Food Program. All right, Hunter was on the board of the World Food Program, and every time he had a meeting with these shady businessmen and people from all over the world, he always said it was about the World Food Program. But I remember something I guess Hunter doesn't. From his laptop, which I'm sorry is available to the world online, Hunter, in emails to his friends when he was setting that stuff up, said the following. It's not really about the World Food Program. Okay, the reason for the dinner is ostensibly to discuss food security. Dad will be there, but that between us for now. Ostensibly, ostensibly to discuss food security. Ostensibly. Can we have a quick review of the word ostensibly, please? Ostensibly means the opposite of what something means. In a way that appears or claims to be one thing when it really is something else. Got it? Let's use it in a sentence, please. He has spent the past three months in Florida, ostensibly for medical treatment, but in actual fact to avoid prosecution. Okay, that's not about Hunter. That's just a, a generic example. Could be about Hunter someday. So the Kasich guys, huh? I, uh, you see, they think they're so cute. They think they're so smart. They think if they do this carefully enough, nobody can raise a question. Look at how indignant Joe gets when somebody starts asking very reasonable questions. Hunter Biden, your son, was getting paid a lot of money to serve on the board of a Ukrainian energy company facing serious corruption charges. You were the vice president running point on Ukraine. The average Joe hears that and says, that sounds fishy. What's your understanding of what your son was doing for an extraordinary amount of money? I don't know what he was doing. I know he was on the board. I found out he was on the board after he was on the board. And that was it. And there's nobody. Well, no you've had said, a lot of time. Isn't this something you want to get to the bottom of? No, because I trust my son. But that doesn't pass the smell test. Like when you're vice president, isn't there a higher standard? Don't you need to know no. what's happening with your family? Don't you need to put down no. some guardrails? Um, um, unless there was something that was, uh, there was something on its face that was wrong. There's nothing on its face that was wrong. So look, if you want to talk about problems, you know, let's talk about Trump's family. I mean, come on. Classic playbook, denialism. Admit nothing, deny everything, make counter accusations. After this moment, he should have been laughed out of the race. That's 2019. And when that doesn't work, he gets angry. So, you guys are amazing. So you think that everything that happened was kosher? You know there's not one single bit of evidence, not one little tiny bit, to suggest anything done was wrong. You know that. This is what I think the left likes to call gaslighting, right? <laughs> There's the, the insistent denial of something that is so obviously true to anyone who looks. For Joe, this has been part of his biography, right? Remember, I have no money, in fact. All the senators are millionaires. I'm just, I'm just a chump from Scranton, right, Joe? I was illicit for all the years I was a senator as the poorest man in the United States Congress. I had the dubious distinction of being listed as the poorest man in Congress for 36 years. I had the great pleasure of being listed as the poorest man in Congress for 36 years. All right. Here's, the poor, here's how the poorest man in Congress lives. Look at all this stuff he acquired, right? Uh, <laughs> poorest man in public service. How does the richest person live, huh? We're not buying it, Joe. Incredibly, the mainstream media have protected you. Incredibly... Democrats, powerful Democrats have protected you. I think their patience must be wearing thin.